kicks off. We're going to see FaZe putting the effort towards that B site. And Bang Ooh. is just already just going to annihilate Ooh. the play through mid. And TSM have a massive lead on players right now. Well, that's a, a banger way to start the game right there for Bang. That's in all but over for FaZe. Look at their HPs, Dan. No, no regrowth on Sky either. Yeah. And I have to say, you know, given that Bang has this focus right off of the bat, I've been very impressed with how well-rounded Bang is. You can kind of put Bang on any agent. In fact, pretty much everybody is here ready to go. Oh, God. For both sides at this point. There's the wall up behind the smoke, what? and it's not looking good at all here for FaZe. They're trying to force their way in, but they are being just completely stopped at this choke point. They can't get in. And there is a minute to go, but they've already invested lots of utility, and they don't have too many players left at this point. They're just getting annihilated here, Sean. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was... Agile tripped it. What is this natural? This is super innovative. Look, it allows them to get free control of aiming. And they got a fast push there as well. That's sick. So is just running into attacker spawn, but it might not matter here because we already have an entrance onto that B site from FaZe. Looking to get that spike planted. You can see, though, that Corey has a spike. He's still stuck in B main. And... Now he's separated from his teammates on the site. This is falling to pieces. And there's that flying from Sabrosa off of that early A main control. And it's just a just clean up right now. <laughs> Bang, I, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I don't think it's going to matter here. Baby Bay is just <laughs> looking very... I don't we'll see that again or something similar. The sheriffs again for FaZe. We know that they've been enjoying those though. Very aggressive. Oh, Zachary again. Yeah, these phase guys are definitely very dangerous with these sheriffs. It's a one for one. And a fight in mid, perhaps, to regain control there. Bang is in a deep position with the operator. But this looks really good for Bang. Easy frag, nice angle to reset to top mid, but just suddenly, in one second, three headshots coming in for phase from those sheriffs. So, I mean, I don't know what. How do you commentate this, Sean? Tell me how. Yeah, this is it's collecting that ultimate orb. Walling behind the smoke. We've seen that before. Ooh. This time it works out better. Yeah, this rotation's coming in quick. Damn. Slow and steady. The assault from FaZe onto this A site. But TSM have everybody in position. There comes the flight for Sabrosa. Looking for that transfer. Doesn't get it. But the damage is still pretty good. Leaves it doable for Bang and Leviathan here from TSM. In this 2 versus 3. BBJ might be looking to take the fight to them. With the run it back, but didn't find too too much. Now it's down to Bang. One versus three. Is it possible? Don't know if they know precisely what Bang is, but now they certainly do. And there's Zachary to finish it off. FaZe pick up their second round. Ooh, Ooh. Corey's gonna get some tags here with Hunter's Fury. Can he finish off Hortel? Yes! With the last Hunter's Fury, it's gonna happen. The last pulse. I don't know what I actually don't know what you call those individual kind of bursts of light from the Hunter's Fury, but Either way, it's looking quite difficult here for TSM on defense phase again, just with the slow assault style. Reforcing into the A sites, and there's not too much here for Bang and Leviathan to do. Looks like they're going to be trying to just see if they can catch any kills and make something happen if any mistakes are made by phase. Bang looking just to have some fun here. Fun is over. Let's look at another round here for phase. Off of these just simple. Yeah, these Still A hits. pushes. These A hits are just destroying here then all of a sudden. Like, I don't think... We might see a retake set up. Oh, oh well, Dal, that's a beautiful shot onto Baby Bay. I was going to say, we might see a retake approach coming in here. But Ooh. you know what? That's a great setup. Oh, the gravity well plus the sky flash. That is beautiful for that from TSM. Maybe they can keep the Cosmic Divide off. Oh my! Cosmic Divide after all, because the is they have that Cosmic Divide, they can just play for the retake with it. Let that A side go. Cam. Here we get a ping on Wardell. Yeah, Seek is aggressively coming through. We get the wall up as well, but it's Leviathan to kick the action off with the first frag on oh. Baby J. Trying to hold the backside. Oh. Zachary, that's insane! Up on the box there, doing so much damage. Bang is going to get the trade through, though, and Hay swinging on through the market as well. Also making life better here for TSM, and they are really starting to win this tug of war. Corey, last player left here, and oh, <laughs> what the hell is that from Bang? It's definitely possible. You will not kill my ally. The opening coming through, that's going to force out the rest from Baby J. Wardell, already for it in mid as well, 
and TSM are just putting up the wall here on this A side. They are not allowing anything to happen to this A side. <laughs> he TP'd into the door oh smoke there he's, he's behind them. Oh, he's actually, he's actually got out there. He's got 6 HP. He can actually convert this into something. Zachary! Oh, the full up for Wardell. Almost there, but not quite. Maybe there is a chance here. Trying to dodge that drone. It's not going to work out. And Leviathan with a finish with the Odin, of course. If he... Can Corey do it? Three quick headshots. That's what he needs to do. And I don't Whoa! know. Oh, no. Will the recon get any juice? Oh, dear. Ooh. I think they went a bit too deep. Climbing a little oh, my off. God. Oh, actually, that second one oh. is... Okay, all right. Oh. All right, okay. The reload is coming through, and it might just happen for... No! Surprisa is going to deny him. Oh, man. You almost called it. Uh, the dream is dead. Sabrosa is going to get. I walk from Sabrosa. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I mean. Sabrosa, he had enough time to react to that. It's a pretty huge pickup early on here for the attack. You know, FaZe have to get aggressive now. They don't really have too much of a choice. And they also be bleeding out. TSM are in such a great position now. They can kind of do anything, split anywhere, push anything together, and they're going to be likely having a lot of success. There's a delay coming through from the true position. Base deciding to try to fight here. Just, they have to stand and fight somewhere. And that's not a bad result. Zachary can hold this. Oh, no. The British keep that pressure on the A site. It's a slow assault. We already have to Ooh, push up mid, though. Focus is coming. Ooh, nice flash from Baby Bay. Okay, this is just this does. This looks just like deathmatch right now. No way! Oh my god! I, how do you call this? It's just frag after frag, and finally this. Oh, there's a quick push coming through here from Phase into that beam in position, and again, it does look like target practice for them right now as they forces TSM push back, and again, quick into middle. This time it's Baby J. I'm gonna find the backs of the TSM players. And that's the Ice Wolves here to get some early damage through mid. Oh no! Oh my god! Gets, gets three! And just like that, getting any love here. <laughs> oh no, the Trailblazer coming through right in the face. Bang on the off angle. There's one. 1v1. Knife comes out. That's it predicts. And oh, early value from that Odin through the B main wall <laughs> into the B site. He counters spammed him, Dan. Well, there's the Sabrosa Seekers. And oh, it doesn't do anything, my unfortunately. Goodness, I cast cursed at him. Why have I done this? Yeah. That's, that's a sad what one. What is going on with this one? Poor guy. It happens. Oh, he's back. Back from the dead. Look how good he is when he uses Seekers. He gets two lives. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a real cause of curse, then Sabrosa can die to Rockus again. Oh, Zachary's looking for some info, but Bang's just waiting there. So it's not going to happen. For Zachary, unfortunately, then. Love this Phoenix Wall. I think that Phoenix Wall is one of the, the arguments that actually, I think, made people start to believe in the value for Phoenix on this map, you know, oh so long ago. It's like the, the power for the retakes from that util. Speaking of which, Cosmic Divide comes through here to try to make this one a bit more difficult for the retake from FaZe. Ooh, do I have any more play on the other side of the Astral? What? Rocket still gets the frag! Baby jumping down. Operators doing a lot of work here. Uh, Haze has to come through and again, the spam battle. Ooh. Oh, like baiting them into spam against Corey to try to get the lineup going and Maybe creating a distraction here. Maybe an opportunity for Zachary to make his way forwards. Trade through by tiles. And going to get the rotation from Hayes here. Giving up the lurk towards that eight side of the map here. Because we're getting a really aggressive play coming in from Rockers. Taking all that space for A main. It's a push from TSM. Comes into that B site. And Corey hold on though. He's with that Odin. He's ready for this. Headshot onto Sabrosa. Battle of the Odins and the Operators. This is kind of insane. 
Chris coming in from Baby J. You talking about that? It's down to Wardell. One versus four. In the back house. house. Picks up the Odin. I respect it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wardell was in so much trouble. That's it. Sean. You think too much. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, just... Technically, you are, that's kind of your job, though. You are the analyst, yeah. so... Op setup is on A. One is close and one is far, and there's no shot TSM reads this. <laughs> yeah, it's two opening kills here for TSM as well. Maybe another one because under Siri, it's going to connect onto Corey. That will force him back. Ooh, Zach okay. waited for the, the neural theft to come in and immediately ults. Oh, great shot from Baby Bay. Great hold here coming in from FaZe. Looking to lock this first map in, but it's a 2v2 here. A ooh, minute to play ooh. with here. Oh, straight up onto the wall. He's left. Oh, so weak here. 20 health. Can Zachary get both players? Vandals ready to go. Spots the barrel. The trigger discipline from Zachary. And he transfers. Early on, we're going to see FaZe oh, on that deep. Yeah, and he hasn't been picking the Sage normally, so like this wall in mid is a totally different look, but you can see it doesn't matter. FaZe still wants to fight mid, even with the wall up. And Corey using the ice blocks there in mid just to jiggle. Get additional opportunities for fights here. They're going to push the issue again. FaZe do not want to give up mid here. And it's working. Oh. Man, he's pushing. Oh, yeah, Bobby might just get He's it. Get Push into this Ooh. position as well with that, and it could be good for one hit. But no, Baby J actually getting so many frags. And Rez was less. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's, it's crazy different. What's up? Rock is in big trouble. Oh my god, Corey is just absolutely annihilating everybody. Great trade from Sir Broza with the Frenzy, but a lot more work to be done. Find the Spectre on the ground. Down to 32 health here. 30 seconds to work with to try to get the plant on the spike, but I don't think he has any ideas. Back. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Sean. Oh. So There's no way of knowing. And you can see BB cutting the distance on the minimap. Oh, Sabrosa with the clutch. Yeah. And still with pretty, pretty decent amount of firepower despite oh. these so many players there. And they're just going to go ham in mid here, doing a great job. Oh my nice god. Opening there from Hayes. Great swing. Full line comes through though. That's going to slow things down here for TSM. Rotation's coming quickly. There is a flank from Sewers as well. Maybe Bay slowly but surely with the Phantom. And this is looking so difficult. There's so much time is being burned here that this flank from Baby Bay could be absolutely massive. The time is going to be good. Zachary <laughs> finds the headshot onto Hayes and Leviathan's left alone at the top of A ramp. Trying to get the push through to A heaven. Oh, Zachary's going through with the Sheriff. That has not worked out. Well, that was ready for that. The Flash, though, to try to get the value in mid here. Baby Bay exactly is going to have to fall back. Your theft comes through. That's a huge win. The spike. And it looks really good here for TSM. Spike down, 5v3. They know exactly where every player on the opposition is, thanks to that neural theft. Phaser is such a difficult position. Baby J has that very valuable operator as well. Got Sabrosa coming up on rope yeah. as well, yeah. And Sabrosa through to playing. the A round. Oh, a lot of value there. Found on the offense. In that B main position. Seeker's going out as well. Rotation is really quick here for FaZe. They've got players in position, but the weaponry is obviously not quite there. DSM have that backside control behind that toxic screen. Oh, Corey's going in! He's going to get taken down by Sabrosa, though, so not finding too much there. And I, I like the approach here, trying to stop this push before the spike can be planted, but it's not working out. Got to take a lot of risks here when you have such poor weaponry against your opponents. I just want to give so much credit to Hayes on how he uses these cages. Because he, that cage did have a tiny gap in it, but he's so aware, right? Because pros, what they like to... Extra information. So keep TSM's presence there. Zachary with the catch of the luck of Hayes on A-Ramp. And another really big win. That's a huge tell just to see that Hayes is pushing that by himself. 
You put a wall up there, it's a fake. They think oh, someone's wow. up there. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Bang will make his way through to the side. No, the full line is going to connect. It's going to hold position on site here for phase for the time being. Oh, wow. Baby Bay not able to find that one against Bang. Bang's looking so confident, but Corey is going to be able to take him down. It's looking difficult here for phase, but might be able to make something of this. Cosmic Divide comes through. Hyper's Pit to try to answer that from the Zyathan. And the jump across for the satchel from Corey that doesn't do too much, unfortunately, for phase. Zachary is in a very, very difficult position. This Ooh, that's so is smart. wild, Dan. Yeah. The gravity world to pull him in. Lines up Zachary. Oh, oh he took him in the oh. clutch. He knows everything. Further off so they can swing. But the cosmic divide didn't allow that to happen. That was super cool to watch. Oh, so are coming in. Great transfer there up into that mail take. Can just go fast in that mid play. Oh, baby J with a great answer. Might find a second one. Indeed, he will. That's the spike now down on the ground as well. So the mid play that's come through and been successful for TSM. Oh, there's the way from Wardell. Oh, dropping position. Wardell still with that flick. Still good. Nature's coming through. Slow things down here. Corey and Raucus looking to try to find a way to make this possible. But Wardell is such a such a huge problem. It's a trailblazer. That's so much information. That's very helpful. But again, Wardell, difficult to deal with. Ooh, it can cost you know eight. two players up. Flash comes through and all players are now. TSM having to defend from the back of the site against Corey and Raucus as they start to try to push in. So difficult though. And Hayes catches Corey moving forward. Raucus with an operator of his own. Still two players left to deal with here. So difficult and there's not much time. And the reset comes through. Just uh, cutting noise completely. Corey's always oh, going to go through this. Toxic screen. Corey has the info now. He knows what's going on there. Oh. Goes. There it goes. The breach shot comes on through. Corey able to take down Sabrosa and... TSM, they still have time here. They still have four players to go. And Bags to respond quite well. Corey going down, but they still have to deal with Baby Bay. The trades are favorable for TSM. It's been difficult, but they're looking clear for a plant now. Wardell providing that long-range cover. Zachary's going to have to go in off of the back of this flash. One player isolated. There's a drop down to hell from Raucus, but Bang has every answer. What a round from him. It's towards that A side of the map. They're not playing a slow default or anything like that. It's just a full frontal assault. And Raucus is there in the back. It's a good flash, but not good enough, it seems. And Corey, in fact, everybody's trying to dodge out of that Jesus. smoke. Trying to catch TSM running in, but if Seekers are out. Full line, that's going to slow things down here. Oh, it's Very fast actually. approach. Oh, the wall. Again, the tricky walls. Ace knows better, though. And TSM holding both sides of the map very effectively at this point. So uh, it's going to be difficult here for FaZe to hold on with Ooh. what they're carrying. East side now. All there. This shoe would definitely have to repeat. Yeah, and I believe it was just four rounds that FaZe got at the uh, end of the first half on the last map. And Zachary here, and he's going to get taken out by Sabrosa. Nice finish from them. So there it is. It's going to be awesome. Ooh. Oh, they're getting up way too quick here. That's not going to pan out too well. We'll see, though, if there's any counterplay here. It's going to have to be the headshots. Or Dell's been pushed all the way back to spawn. TSM are left with very little on this defense. That's a nice shot, though. That's going to take down the spike, too. Something to delay things here for FaZe. And TSM actually hitting some shots. Three versus three. They are, they've done a great job in recovering this. Spike planted. And they're ready for this retake, too. They are coordinated around spawn two players. They've got, I believe... Leviathan up high on B main. Uh, B heaven, sorry. Exactly. Yeah, that double Looking stack for a timing. in the back of sight. I can catch this timing. Oh, Leviathan stops wow. that one, though. We're going to cobble together here. It's going to be a fast, very fast push. Straight up into the A site. And already Corey's doing some great work. Taking down Bang. That's the Astra out of the way quickly. But you've got to get past Wardell's operator as well. So... Well, they'll be able to peel away one more player, but the site's actually under control here for FaZe. They will get a plant, and they will get to play a post-plant. Question is, what is that post-plant positioning going to look like? Planted. 
That is a great question. But what I do love is the uh, is the Viper utility on this A site. You saw the one way up top to prevent the ramps push. And look at this wall for the retake now. So good. And FaZe are really making it happen right here. Able to do a lot of damage. And Wardell's going to have to run away. He's only got the himself now and the Operator to work with. All his teammates are gone. And it's so valuable. He's actually going to keep challenging here for the moment. He's being teased, but it's all a ploy because we can see that on the other side towards that B site, Raucus is ready to punish Wardell. If Wardell can even survive this, ah, uh, this is looking extremely oh dear. at this point. Oh, oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! They want, they want this Viper's blood. Let's go! Oh god, got to run. And the Rolling Thunder coming through as well with a showstopper. Oh, Sabrosa's so going to catch Corey midair before the rocket can be deployed. That's a huge win early on here for TSM. And FaZe still able to get some value, still able to do some damage, but struggling to get control for that spike plant. Two versus two after all of that. It's going to get worse here for FaZe. Raucous now needs to get that spike. And has no idea where some of these players could be peeking him from. That Viper's pits up as well, so Leviathan could be anywhere. Leviathan playing it safe, sitting in spawn for the time being. Tactical so skill. Oh. <laughs> plant location of the B site. I've never, and he can be safe in spawn. That is an incredible Viper's pit, actually. That Leviathan just put down, and an insane B hit. We saw a barrel. It's a big fine. Yeah, it, it works out really nicely for TSM. Maybe FaZe is starting to worry that they overextended. Leviathan's found a gap. It's way into elbow. Interesting spot for FaZe because they don't have spike control. It's, it's down in heaven. Wardell's sitting on it. And there's the Cosmic Divide. That's going to force Wardell forward to get the shot. He gets it. Baby J's down and Baby Bay's down. Both the babies are gone, <laughs> leaving just Zachary. And he's got to push a Cosmic Divide. Oh, actually, no. It was just in front of the spike, of course, by design. Doesn't matter. It's from Sabrosa through that mid position to take that mid control. And they are really taking the fight right now straight to FaZe. And this is kind of a problem. FaZe are not expecting to, to take these fights so early on. You can see Baby Bay's push so deep. And the rest of his team are trying to make their way up through the cave. Splitting into that A site. And Cor Corey on that Yoru is going to find one entry. But it might not be enough here because TSM still holding great position towards that A site. And. It's just getting worse here for FaZe. Up to Baby J now. I believe they know exactly where Baby J is. Oh, that's a wow. flick and a half from Baby J. Lots more to be done here, though. This is very difficult. Exposed from multiple positions. Trying to find those 1v1s. And there's the reset. Baby J might make this one actually work. Gets the sp Oh, just gets shot. Playing super passive on the speed site using his cam to spot both the angles. <laughs> Sabrosa comes down from the hall shoot. Clears out mid. This is becoming real telegraphed. The TP though. Dan, the TP. Yeah, you know, Corey working on that Yuri play. Yes. Ooh, this gets stifled. Coming through to assist Baby J. Baby Bay. Baby Bay so ready for this one. Oh, turns with the flash. And it's actually going to work out there for the first frag at least. Leviathan is going to convert two off of the Spectre. And in fact, actually, TSM looking amazing on this retake so far. Baby J has to come through here. Has to bite his time. The trigger discipline. Able to take down one, but the time is... Like FaZe, you know, really want to make this B-Site work. Oh. Saw, we've just visibly seen the impact of these support players on TSM this round, right? The Viper smoke wall at B, just bleeding the time. The Sage wall at elbow, followed by a slow. Just everything's very annoying. And then the... In a lot of these situations. If FaZe got a lot of value against Luminosity by kind of rinse and repeating, just... And trying to scale on one side or the other. The awkward at the moment. They, they might be able to find something here. Is this still okay, in the sight? Yeah, it's 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 so insane that it's oh he gets the timing onto Corey as well. I don't know how Haze is getting all of this value around the pyramids. Viper's pit comes in as well. TSM slowly starting to make th things happen here, but Baby Bay still alive with the knives. Ooh. Able to get one more. Oh, beautiful stuff from Baby Bay. Just bang left. Can Baby Bay close it? With the Blade Storm. 
Looking a bit labored, but he gets Ooh. it. The ace from Baby Bay off of the Blade Storm. Awkward too. Baby Bay was waiting for a long time to find the right moment, but he found it. And speaking of which, Bordeaux will find it in the beginning of the next round. It's another similar look here from FaZe. Just looking to assault the B side quite quickly. And you know, typically, TSM have been good on the delay, and you can see it again. Oh, the delay. See the value of Sage here. So difficult. The rotation's already here. Sean to assist. Bang gets three kills out of this one. And the spike's down in front of the smoke. There is just too many ways for TSM to slow down these pushes. And FaZe cannot get in. Yeah, the Viper-Sage combo by this B-Site. We have yet to see core. So I'm not trying to write them off or anything like that. We'll see them changing their approach here as well. Looking to go into the halls. Finished. Oh my. TSM. Ooh, Great nice. stuff there from Baby Bay. <laughs> Corey with the dimensional drift. And... There's some over on the map now here. The face, possibly. Corey looking to see if he can get something out of this. TPing back. Resetting off. Ace is pushing mid. Oh, finds a perfect time in the TSM. Fantastic player, and there we go. The move is made by FaZe, and 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Finished off by the Shock Dart. Nice move there from Raucous, but it is too little too late. No time to plant the spike. Now the round is won by TSM, as Raucous tries to stay alive. Is he going to get another kill out of this? Maybe. He's really deep on this push. There's a drone that's going to deal with Wardell. Pushes him back. Faze running it forward. Oh, bang. Ooh. Just before the toxic screen goes up fully. Able to take down Baby Bay. It's a huge win. Duelist out. And soon we might see the duelist in for TSM. Wardell pulls out the Bladestorm. And there it is. Already paying off. Three players left. Wow. Look there at the is. Hello, Molly. Oh, a lot to work with here for Corey. He's back against the wall, but still making it work. The dimensional drift to actually dodge the next fight, the trade attempt. But now Corey's alone against three players. The Seeker is chasing. Oh no. And the defuse is coming in. I don't think there's anything Corey can do to stop this one. He's going to try to peek it. And oh Corey, he's just. As well as Bang around elbow and cannon. He's actually going to be pushing behind FaZe. And FaZe is going to slow down here. Whoa. Baby Bay, though, with the Blade Storm, is going to take down Sabrosa. Looking to try to convert onto the site. Oh, unable to find the value, but. Does have teammates there pushing at the same time. So the A side will be cleared. The entries have been made. And finally, FaZe are looking like they have a lot to work with. Advantages, in fact. And yeah, we're Hotel just trying Saloon. to, you know, set the script in the 10-2 scoreline. <laughs> you know? yeah. Absolutely. I hope Wardell got the memo. be pretty important for him to stay alive with this operator. Kind of looking like that's going to happen. They have to be careful now. Oh, I love it! Oh. I've seen where they'll do it. Focusing rounds. Cave in the hole as well. Again. Oh, Wardell. Double tap. What? Zachary. I don't know what's happening there, but hey, gets the kill. So Bros is down. And look at the rap the split coming through now. Great angles to work with the Baby Bay. Wardell is going to be spotted by Baby Bay. And both Carbers come through. Three versus three now. So much time left. The spike's actually in cave right now, but not sure. it's, we'll finally make the cross. Raucous can get a spike down by the pyramids. What about that Viper? Oh, and the flank from Baby Bay is working out nicely there. One enemy remaining. And it's down to Baby Bay to try to clutch this one versus two. Catches the jumpy. Oh, what Dell actually? Looks like they're. Yeah. I'm actually not sure what site they want to go to. And Baby J gets a clean pick on Subros and What is this one way? That was insane. Off of the opening. Oh, nice shot. That's a spike too. The Cory has found the spike. And another head's going to on with him either. So he is out here alone. It says Zachary at distance with the classic. And Leviathan's got 10 HP against three players. It's a very, very difficult clutch for Leviathan. Viper looking up top A halls. Breaks some Cypher till And Bang finds the opening on Cory. Yeah, just it's pushing one the cage. issue there. One way cage up in the halls that Baby J's using is just netting him free kills. They definitely need it right now. TSM have just destroyed the safe site. 
Maybe Jay's but looking for that recon cave and exposing himself a little bit there. That's actually going to work out, it seems, from FaZe ultimately. TSM were doing a pretty good job to bait out some of the peaks there, but they had to convert on the Franks as well. Rez comes through from Bang. And they're still trying to work this A site. Ace, oh, he's going to wrap around from mid. Takes down Raucus. The trade oh, is there at least. Lucky. Very tense stuff here for Zachary. Oh, he gets two. Straight out the toxic screen. And he nails the headshots. One more player to go. At Seeker's coming through to try to punish the Viper's pits. See if Sabrosa can find that. It looks like that's not going to happen. Sabrosa still keep creating pressure towards A, but at the same time, we get the push from TSM into this B site. So they are going to that B site after all. Bang opening it up with the entry again. Baby J unable to find the timing. Bang defends. Oh, great shot from shot. Baby J. Picks Wardell out of the sky. Now FaZe in trouble for the first time on this half. Oh, this is a very bad lick for Zachary. Oh, nice shot though. Finds the Viper at least. We're closing out the round. Who would have thought? The <laughs> hopping Cypher. Bringing us to 12. Yes. He's sitting up there at 24 frags. I mean, actually, no information possible that could. I think they make a beast right here on the nade hit. Oh, no. wow. Just like that. <laughs> I'm going to say it, Dan. Oh, oh. <laughs> they have really good win percentages on their backsides. They oh, really play their defense right like this. Oh my god! Mid. Everybody! I don't know if they decided to pack to what happened, but everybody's fighting. And it makes it even worse because now both players have been spotted of phase. The TSM know exactly what to do, what they're dealing with. Oh, I love that from Baby J. I mean, you got to do something crazy. They're gone and the Guiding Lights. That, that's a lot of ways to effectively deal with these weapons and ways to clear some of these close positions. Oh, Baby J. Shutting down Haze. A 4v3 advantage now here for Phase On this eco, well, this force buy. See what they can get done. Zachary's going to definitely get a shot off here. Is he going to connect? Good swing. Baits out the shot. The closer distance. Zachary trying to use the gravity well there. Able to isolate a 1v1, but the running gun is going to work out with the Spectres. Down to Baby Bay and Rockus now. And in these players, Leviathan and Bang attack really low here. They are definitely quick work for the Sheriffs. Yeah, this is getting scary. Regrouping now through spawn. Okay, so Bang has some Astra Util remaining. Both playing in the so pocket. There's the smoke. Oh, the shock dust going to land. Wardell's just peppering away. Where's the punish? Oh, he's able to find Raucus before the punish can come through. There's still quite a bit of time to work with here. How does Baby Bay try to find a way to do this, though? Wardell is just... Oh, no, this looks like good, but still bullets left in. And that's the Red Bull. Cl the question is, you know, how is the response here? You know, you... you Technically, do you want some players on the flank if you're trying to retake this B site? TSM don't have a lot of post plant position. They do have Hayes sitting towards the attacker spawn, so he's here to deal with anyone trying to flank these positions. Baby J coming in deep from C long, though. And Corey is also coming in from A. They can definitely play off of each other really well here. <gasps> the timing's unreal there. Corey able to take down Hayes as he turns his back to him. And now there's definitely trouble here, but Bang is still up in the action. Able to take down Baby J as well. Sabrosa also coming into the defense. Look at that reaction. It's huge. We're going to get that Hunter Shuri coming through as well. The Cosmic Divide. They're really making this look like a B play, a C play, but it's a fake. They're going to wait. And on the A side of things, it's just Baby Bay. Baby Bay will get a pick with that operator. That's going to slow things down, but he's got to do everything alone right now to slow this push. They know it's a fake. Everybody's going to come over. They have to rotate from C. Baby Bay has to buy time. He's got to buy time, oh. but he can't against Wardell. The so difficult to get back in. Oh, unless, unless the whip is there. Corey able to punish. But still, there's more TSM players where that came from. Yeah, Bang's, Bang's gravity down. well really put a damper on the retake. And now, we have the 2-1-2 two two settled in. Baby J with an amazing flank. Bang is going to resettle in long, and he's going to get this recall back. Oh my god, he's so damn good. Bang with the jump peek as well. The Baymore shots the flicks in, but Baby... So their economy is kind of wrecked here. They really need to convert this second round. Oh, oh no. Corey. And now Zach. Some damage. No frags, though. Zachary trying to defend this carriage position. 
That's going to actually open things up for Baby Bay as well. Nice little distraction play coming through. And Zachary might even convert another one. Baby Bay at the back of this C site. Certainly an issue. Does evade getting tagged by that recon. Here's the steps coming up. He's in a very difficult position. It's going to be shotgun mode with this operator hiding behind the smoke. Beautiful from Corey coming in for the assist. Corey actually takes down the second one. Baby Bay opened up toward Dell. And now... It's like FaZe might be in a good spot to stabilize here. TSM lacking players, lacking position. Enemy remaining. Is a scary spot? You oh <laughs> my goodness, Wardell. That was so fast. Wow, that I was so fast. Ridiculously fast. Ooh. Yeah, that's crazy. And I was going to say that, you know, if, you, if you're in FaZe's position right now, you really don't want to be giving up any guns here. You need to keep a strong economy. And it's just so difficult. Oh They're hunting Mordell. They, they don't want to allow him to keep the operator, Sean, and it's costing them. <laughs> Why have they done this to us? Baby Bay, on the other hand, might be able to find the follow-up, though. Operator coming into play. Gets out of there. Wardell's chasing them with the blade storm. With that dash. Well, it's a barrel, but it's going to work out for Raucous there. So, four versus three here. Hayes able to take down Corey in that deep mid position. This offers a recovery possibility for TSM as they go to C. Hayes has ulted on sites a lot, so I'd, I'd expect if he gets to C, he's going to ult on the site right here. Yup. And that's going to give them so much space for this post plant. I don't know. FaZe just seems to send it and get the frags too. Oh, that's a early opening in favor of TSM. Okay, it's looking to go aggressive with the operator here on mid. This is probably a good call given that they need to get something going in this round after losing a player early. Oh, good. Goodness. Yeah, it's it's so gonna be so difficult to get any value here now. But maybe Jay coming into play though with that vandal. Oh the transfer is almost fantastic. It puts it in a one versus three for Raucus. Maybe an opening here for Raucus. Cool. Catches Hay straight in the face. Two players backside. Seekers coming in. The Seekers, the Cosmic Divide's in there as well. Oh, wow. Initial difference from Baby J. The Hunter's Fury, though, there to make life even more difficult. You can see the pressure. It's just unbelievable from TSM. Great series of entry frags there. Looking so coordinated. He's looking for that player that rotates oh, off no. of that C side of the map. And of that. Yeah, Baby Bay straight in there with the dash. Oh, Corey with the hot hands. Wow. Able to actually make that happen. But Bang's in there with the headshots with that ghost. He's claimed himself a spike. And that is going to be difficult now. Ooh. Faze. At least have the trade from Raucus. So, two versus three. But again, this, the spike being lost deep on the B side is certainly an issue. Wardell's flanking too. Oh, no, they have no idea about this. Oh, Wardell's Ooh. so quick with the flick. It's in a really weird spot. Yeah. We've got a fast push here and also a force fight coming through uh, from phase in towards his A site. Wardell, elevated positions, holding things down really nicely. Oh no, he's done so much damage. He's just standing there so confident. Now, Sabrosa's on the flank as well. Maybe Jay is the only frag here. Trying to fool Hazed in B site by recalling all the smokes. So he's like trailing through them. Well, I think just waiting on the other side. He knows it's all just. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was like for Corey. TSM are unrelenting. Wow, oh, Corey though opens things up, but it's an even better response from Leviathan. We get the Guardian coming out from Bang to finish things off. One more player to be found is Corey with that Sheriff. Yeah. He was dead on the garage entrance. He was so yeah. ready for that. <laughs> and it's a 